All right. So, hi, Aries. This is G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and this is part two, part two of your compatibility, okay? So, this is a video simply about what it is. Aries with another zodiac sign or just individuals that you should be interested in, okay? Um, to kind of help you better understand yourself and to be more in love or in lust or like with another individual, okay? So in part one, I talked about Aries through Libra, but then something happened. Technology got messed up. It ended. So I'm just going to restart with Libra and Aries. That is one. When you see an Aries and Libra combination together, they are practically like best friends, okay? Um, they understand each other on a lot of levels. Um, I wouldn't really say, I think is. It's not the most intellectual relationship, but the emotional aspect of it all is very, very um, compatible. And there's a lot of passion between Libra and Aries, okay? Now, what I like most seeing is in Aries, I like seeing an Aries woman no, I like seeing an Aries man with a Libra woman. I think it works better that way. Not that an Aries woman with a Libra man can't work, but I think is, well, I think that regardless if it's a Libra man or woman, I think that Libra in general just respect the work ethic of an Aries. They like that Aries is fun, full of life, exciting, down to earth. Like they can kick it with them. They can be their best friend. They can have sex, good sex. They can have good love, a good understanding for each other, very submissive to one another. I think the only thing, <laughs> again, is not the most intellectual relationship. So really the only thing that can possibly mess this up is Aries being um, too impulsive and Libra being too balanced. Um, Aries is a fire sign. So you Aries like to just go for it. Like you like to just zoom through life, be excited, go after what you want. And it's nothing wrong with that. But Libra in no way, form or fashion, is going to allow you to mess up their comfort zone, their happiness, or their money because you want to be impulsive. So I think that if there is a mutual respect for each other in a sense of their finances, their home, Libras love a solid foundation. Like they are very balanced energy like it, it can be like too much drama they can be like um not enough drama you know what i'm saying like it has to be a balance <laughs> between them um but overall they love to love so dealing with an air i mean dealing with the libra aries you will find a partner that is very open-minded to a lot of things as long as it's not at the expense of hurting them or their goals and things that they really love um, Libra have a tendency to be straightforward as well. So, again, that is, again, it's not the most intellectual relationship. But if you guys can get past the little <laughs> hurdles of the, the, smout, the smart mouthiness, like um, Libra, well, Aries saying something smart to the Libra. And over time and over time, Libra just keep dealing with it, keep forgiving you. Keep dealing with it, keep forgiving you. And even though you are great together, after a while, Libra would most certainly lose their patience with the impulsiveness, the immaturity. So I think it's better when these are two adults, someone who is well-established, they both had their head on straight, both got them got something going for themselves. Um, I think that is when Aries and Libra work best together, when they are both like focused. Because whenever you have a Libra who is focused, 
working on their career, um, focused on their goals, their family, whatever their um, ambition is at that moment. And then Aries come along and Aries is like, hey, party time. Libra will be more than one. I mean, they would love to go party with you and hang out. But honey, when it comes to their money and when it comes to their stability, they are a whole nother ball game. Like you and you, Aries, you will have to sometimes deal with the temperament um, especially if you are an Aries woman dealing with a Libra man, oh, he would certainly love you for your feminine side, for the fact that you are, um, very loving and submissive and very gorgeous in the way you carry yourself. Like, a Libra man can really, really be head over heels for you, but you will have to understand that they need to be... <laughs> the boss when it comes to running their finances running the household because you aries have not that you can't do it it's not that you can't do it but you are not the most um stable sign is what i want to say it's not like you guys are not the most stable sign when it comes to your finances not really i think that's really the only issues there when dealing with a Libra person in general is that there can be some issues in regards to who's the boss. And Libra don't mind who the fuck is the boss. They're like, look, I don't care. You can be the boss, but when it comes to my money and when it comes to my stability and a roof over my head, I'm the boss. <laughs> and I think that you, you both will enjoy uh, long trips together, having fun together, you know, going out and partying together, getting dressed up together. I think that Libra and Aries have a great time doing that. But I have to break it to you, Aries. Do I think it's the most compatible for Libra? No, I do not. Okay. Um, I've seen better with Libra. I think that they actually do really well with Leo. They do really well with um, even Pisces at some times, but that's another topic for another day. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. But you, Aries, have to understand that, I mean, even dealing with the Libra, you have to... And this is, let me say this, it's not all Aries, okay? Again, these are one of those moments, especially if you are an Aries that's crazy in love with your Libra person or you're infatuated with them for whatever reason. Just understand this. It also depends on your culture, how you were raised, okay? Where you are from, um, different planets and aspects in your birth chart. All of those things matter. So people kill me when they talk about compatibility between signs because it goes a, a lot deeper than just the sun signs okay so depending on what's in that libra person's birth chart depending on what's in yours it may and it may not can work now if you are like for an example say if you're a leo sun right or uh, maybe you are an aries and maybe you have um Maybe you have like your rising or your moon sign as Leo. Then yes, you guys will get along fantastically. Like you guys will be like intertwined, best friends, you know, can't seem to stop talking to each other. Like it will be a really beautiful bond, you know. Um, again, because I think Leo and Libras have this, this thing that we, a lot of us can't really see, right? Like they just get each other. Um... And so it's not that it can't work, but I think you need to look at your birth chart and find out what else is in there before um, you judge your total compatibility with the Libra person. Because, again, I'm just giving you the physical aspects of it all. You know, like, <laughs> if you're not the most stable person in the world or if you're sloppy or, you know, even though Libra have a tendency to be lazy at times too, you, Aries, have this way about you where you... If it's not crazy enough, you get bored. Or if it's not stimulating you enough, you get bored. And so Libra will constantly find themselves trying to scoop down, you know, to your level. Or trying to find a way to, like, always make you happy. And in return, that can make Libra feel, I don't really want to be around this person today. I don't really have time for their energy. 
I don't really have time for their complaining today or their moodiness. I don't really have time for that impulsiveness. They drive me crazy. You know, like it may make them kind of retreat and make them not want to deal with you. So it's it's kind of like a, you know, again, I would look deeper into my birth chart to complete my overall compatibility with a Libra. Okay. But especially if you, if your rising sign is like in Leo or, um, Virgo, maybe, or even Pisces, then yeah, it's, you got like a, a extra A from me, okay? Like a thumbs up, but I would say just confirm different things in your, your sun, moon, and rising, or your Venus in your uh, birth chart, okay? So let's move on. Spent a lot of time talking about Libras. Okay, so Aries and what comes at the Libra? <laughs> Virgo, Leo, Libra, Scorpio. Okay, sorry. So, Aries and Scorpio, oh my God, you got two signs that are hard-headed, okay, two zodiac signs, hard-headed, stubborn, oh well, I don't care, don't talk to me, don't even look my way, hmm, okay, if it's a Scorpio man dealing with an Aries woman, I hate to break it to you, don't get upset if he become a bit too possessive. Or too crazy. It's because he just doesn't trust you. It's not because you're not a good woman. Or you don't look that good. Or he wants to just simply control you. It has nothing to do with that. Scorpios are just naturally crazy. And I think anybody who is watching this video will most certainly agree that they are crazy. Even Scorpios. They'll probably laugh at this comment. Okay? So, Aries. If it is a Scorpio man with an Aries woman, then yes. There could be a lot of possessiveness. A lot of manipulation. A lot of controlling simply because Aries women secretly um, require or they they like a father figure type when dealing with people like so again remember I was talking about that whole stimulation thing yeah Scorpio does that Scorpio will give you enough reasons why you should stay with them okay and Aries of course they want to be accepted they want to be loved you guys want to be like the forerunner and Scorpio don't mind you doing that but that that excitement that flirtatious nature that um dressing crazy or doing what you want when you want and how you want it scorpio ain't hearing it <laughs> they just not hearing it and if you give them any reason why they cannot trust you aries i'm sad to say this again they may even be a bit aggressive toward you and it's not saying that all scorpios are abusive that is not what i'm i, I am implying but i have to tell you that you bring out that nature in them you bring out that jealousy in them because you are always so nice and bubbly and sexually attracted to just everybody so aries you are naturally beautiful and you can't help that right cool but what you can do, if you are an Aries woman, especially if you are a lot younger than a Scorpio, don't do it, okay? Especially if this is someone new, don't do it. Because I promise you, years from now or a few months from now, you will start to see just how crazy they are. But if you don't mind the crazy and that's your thing and you like a guy to just, you know, be smacking you up every now and then, then <laughs> go for it, okay? But I think it does work better when it is an older Aries woman dealing with a Scorpio man. And again, this is one of the situations where it worked best when they are both focused on the prize. When they are both um, going after what they want. Because this is the thing. They, you both have jealousy spirits to you. And it's not that you're just naturally jealous of other people. It's not that. You both have the the uh, drive to just want to win and to just, you know, be successful. And Aries, you have to be careful not to always throw it in Scorpio's face because then now he really feels intimidated, okay? Um, so you, you have to kind of... Um, Kind of stroke his ego a little bit, which I don't really see you having too much of a problem doing. But where you might mess up is understanding the Scorpio on a deep intellectual level. So he may under he may like being around you and your energy. He may love having sex with you, and he may love spending money on you and taking you out and having a good time with you. But when it comes to that intellectual part, Scorpios love stimulation, honey. And you have to be able to win them over with more than just your sex or more than just you acting wild. Is they, they like strangeness in people. 
So <laughs> if you want to truly want to Scorpio man over Aries woman, you have to, or, you know, Aries man, I guess, you have to understand that they have a certain nature to doing things. They, they are very, um, they can be very open-minded, very playful. Now I do, again, again, this is one of them situations where depending on what's in their birth chart or depending on what's in yours, it may and it may not can work. Um, again, I think is the, the age Okay, is a, is a very important factor. Okay, but if this now, this is a Scorpio woman dealing with an Aries man. Again, you're going to have these issues of Scorpio not really trusting you. Because Aries men in nature, they, they love to work. They love to get money. They love to be out and about. And Scorpio women, look, if they can't roll with you, they are most likely not going to trust it. Um, they want to know your every move. They might be there to support you and guide you and love you. I think that what you both do love about each other is that you do naturally give each other that space. Right? But with Scorpio man, though, he, he may not like the fact that you're giving him too much space and you're looking that good and you want to go out and have fun. He's not tiring it. Now, a Scorpio woman might just go outside and bust your tires or something crazy, okay? Because, you know, we women got hormones and different emotions. So, a Scorpio woman dealing with an Aries man, if it's a... The equal age thing, again, there's that age problem. If there's maturity and they both got a lot going on for themselves, like the Scorpio woman can be like, yeah, my credit is this and I got that, I got my own business and she feeling herself, then yeah, most likely Aries man will be definitely most certainly attracted and hopefully he won't feel like he still has to go out and flirt with other women. And it's not saying, I'm not trying to make it seem like Aries men can't be faithful because they can. But again, you have that situation where they they need um, they need that constant attention, and Scorpios are very emotionally disconnected, and not with themselves, but from other people. So I think that is where your issue will come at. It's like they'll give you attention, but it's not the right type of attention, Aries. Like <laughs> it's not the attention that you want. Like the Scorpios are not the type that's gonna like. You know, hey, baby, you know, come here. Let me stroke your ego for six hours. Like, they're just, they just not going to do that. They're they not going to do that for you. Like, they're not. Okay? Now, <laughs> and again, you may want to check other aspects in your birth chart. Because if this Scorpio has something like, um, something fun in them. Like a Sagittarius, like their Venus or their sun or moon or rising is in, like, in Sagittarius or... Um, Gemini, for example, then you might have a more fun, loving, romantic partner. But Scorpios naturally are not the type to just be like chasing you and, you know, giving you six hours of undivided attention. Like they just are not going to do that. Okay. So, but overall, I think that they have a lot of fun together. Um, especially in the beginning, I think it's because Scorpios like to observe people and they like to kind of dig a little deeper and try to figure you out. And then it's like once they figured you out and they feel like they got you, um, then again, that manipulation now comes into play. So just be careful for that. Um, don't try to restrict your Scorpio. Don't try to control them. And I th again, I think it's going to go that both ways, actually, where... They may try to do that to you, and you may kind of bite back and be like, no, sorry, I don't want to do that. But then, like I said, you got some crazy women, Aries women out there that actually like that. They like that aggressiveness. But for Aries men, a Scorpio woman trying to control them is not happening, and that's where the problem will come in at. Okay, um... Sagittarius and Aries. This is a tricky one because, again, depending on what's in their birth chart, it may and it may not work. A lot of people think Aries. I think personally that fire signs do really well together, and that's something I stated in my first video, is that I think fire signs do really, really well together. Um, because nobody understands they're crazy the way that they do. You know what I mean? Like, you can see an Aries and an Aries together, and you might be like, okay, they're super crazy together. They love it, though. They, they are okay with their crazy. Okay? Aries and Sagittarius are, um, very sexy, very passionate. They complement each other really, really well. Um, the only problem with that is where you would have a Sagittarius 
kind of every now and then just like blacking out on you, you know, um, getting upset over small things, telling you what to do, um, not really being controlling, but just kind of being, <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for, universe? Not really controlling, just being kind of obsessive more so, um, cause they're not really controlling, it just, I'm like, if you were like talking to another woman, like you was to say hi, they're not the type that just get jealous. Like then they, they that's not gonna happen. But if they saw you sitting with another woman, laughing with another woman, holding another woman, they will flip out. <laughs> and at that moment, you will probably be so confused and probably be like, okay, she's crazy. What is she doing? But she has a softness to her that seems to always will you back in, Aries man. So that is a problem you may have. It's always having that hate-love relationship dealing with in Sagittarius. They are beautiful for you on so many levels because they don't mind you being you. Just don't disrespect them. They don't care. If you want to travel, let's travel. You want to spend money, let's spend money. You want to go out, let's go out. But what you won't do is disrespect them. They will let you know that right now or forever hold your peace. Also, Aries, you must know that you have to be a money chick or a money guy. Like, it, they will not, I don't care if they come home to you every night. They will not be faithful to you. They will not, you know, give you, and, and I guess for some of you, it's cool about the whole match thing because you don't really like to be pinned down too much. So, I guess for a lot of you, it's okay. But don't expect a Sagittarius to be, like, totally committed, like, getting on one knee, marrying you. Like, that. that's not going to happen. No, it's not gonna happen and even if it does and apparently I'm telling you check your birth chart because it's something in their birth chart or yours that is making you guys extra compatible to the point where he feel or she feels safe enough to want to marry you okay um you guys may have kids together you guys can probably be together for years and years and years because neither one of you like to be restricted or tied out or pinned down so expect a relationship where it's very free very loving, very sexy, very passionate, and you guys compliment each other really well, but this relationship needs money. Both of you love to spend. Both of you love to live a good life, so you need money. This relationship is not going to work if your finances are horrible. It's just not going to work. There's going to be a lot of fighting, a lot of depression, a lot of arguing, a lot of losing weight for no reason. It's going to be a lot of chaos if there's no money. Sagittarius cannot be committed or in a relationship or any surrounding when there is nothing going on. No progress, no nothing. So, um, yeah, my whole point is just to sum it up. Have yourself together before you decide to deal with a Sagittarius. And if they decide to deal with you, you will actually motivate them to want to get their self together. And then now you guys can boom and blossom together okay but i do think aries and sagittarius definitely do got a thumbs up for me i think they understand each other on a lot of different levels okay sex can be really really steamy too like for some reason you guys just don't mind like dropping and clothes with them okay so aries and capricorn whoo that is one interesting couple because Aries men always, for some reason, find Capricorn extremely attractive. No matter who they're dealing with, no matter where they're going, no matter what they're talking about, they just cannot keep their eyes off this Capricorn woman. They just have to deal with them. They want to get to know them. It's this mystery about Capricorn woman that just stimulates an Aries man from a distance. And so imagine what it does when they get closer. It is fucking phenomenal. It's sexy. It's powerful. You know why? Because an Aries man respects a feminine woman. But not only that, an Aries man respects a woman who is all about their stability, creativity. And Capricorn, who works harder than a Capricorn? Capricorn. I mean, seriously, Aries man admires that about a Capricorn. Every now and then they may have to shake up their Capricorn to get them moving again, to get them going again, so that way they're not so sad and serious and mean all the time, right? But overall, you have a couple who is sophisticated, who loves to have money. The only difference is, I would, if I were you, Aries, I would trust Capricorn with the money. Just saying. Again, you guys are not the most stable signs. And I don't think you guys would disagree either. I think once you see how stable-minded um, 
Capricorns are, you will most probably be like, okay, babe, how is your credit? Maybe we should put the house in your name, or maybe we should keep allow you to keep the money. You know, let's do a joint account, but I need you to oversee it. Like, and I think that the communication as far as that is okay. What the problem will come in at is because Aries are rams, Capricorns are goats, they both have these horns, and they lock. So a lot of times when Capricorns and Aries are in a room and one person feel like they can't get their point across and Capricorns Capricorn, you know them. They are like, look, I'm the boss, but Aries is like, no the fuck you're not. I'm the boss. And so they always have this thing where they love each other, but they they if they could just shut down that ego testicle side to them and forget about the whole part of just being the boss all the time they both act that way and that's why they love each other because they both have this boss mentality about themselves right however that can be the same exact reason why they don't work together because Aries wants to be in charge and Capricorn wants to be in charge now and they can both compromise and say you know what babe okay I'll let you control this if you allow me to control this right like if you guys can find a way to allow each other to just be yourself then yes i will give capricorn and aries a thumbs up again check your birth chart to double check you and your spouse or your potential lovers birth chart because it will make total sense once all this blow over aries and aquarius okay another sexy couple but aquarius love you because they can easily manipulate you i hate to break it to you but they find you extremely attractive you're funny you're amazing but you're not intellectually uh, grounded enough to hold their attention they like to be out and about and even though you do too listen they just want to get what they gotta get and get the hell out they not with all that hey honey come here let me kiss you they, they're not with all that that they're, they're just not with it like they'll do that they'll cuddle with you and kiss you for a little while but then they gotta go they gotta go make money <laughs> and you Aries you may find you may find yourself saying well damn I thought I was impulsive I thought I was like crazy and obsessive with you know uh, no, you're not that crazy until you've met an Aquarius, okay? So, Aries, woman with an Aquarius man, I don't think so, okay? Now, Aquarius woman with an Aries man is the most beautiful fucking thing I have ever seen. They are so sexy together that it really, really, ugh. They are so sexy together, okay? Have you ever seen a couple that is just naturally submissive to each other? Just naturally loving and giving towards each other? They are so, so, so beautiful to each other. Like, the Aquarius woman doesn't mind just being in love with an Aries man. She admires his sensitive side. She admires the fact that he dress well. He speaks well. He, he, tend, he caters to her without a doubt. And she loves that. Aquarius women don't want to always fucking work. So the fact that she had this brilliant, sexy, intelligent man, okay, strong and smart and will fuck somebody up. Yeah, what turns an Aquarius on more than that? Trust me. And make money? Oh, yeah, you got an Aquarius woman with that, okay? But an Aquarius man will always find a reason to manipulate you, Aries woman, okay? I'm serious. It is... <laughs> you may find them extremely attractive, but that's the problem. They know you want them so bad, so they would easily take advantage of that. You will have to be upfront and let them know right away, listen, I want you. I'm going to be your lady. I'm not here to play games. If you want an Aquarius man, you have to be direct and not sweat them too much. And if an Aquarius man feel like you are sweating them too much, they will not deal with you on a level that you will want them to, okay? So Aries and Pisces. Aries and Pisces is very beautiful. Another sweet, soft relationship. There's not a lot of excitement in this relationship. Um, there should be, though, because Pisces can be very sensitive to Aries and Aries alike. Um, but I think that it's all about when Aries is really trying to have fun and Pisces just always want to be depressed and always sad. If you guys can kind of learn to uplift one another. And I think for an Aries man, it's not hard for a Pisces woman to do for. Like, I mean, because Aries man is probably almost always a beat and out and about doing what they got to do. But Pisces woman may find themselves sitting in the house a lot, wondering where he is find themselves crying over this person. Again, you may have children together, have a great life, a good stable life together, but that excitement, if you guys need to have a bit more fun together, if you can have a lot more fun together, then yes, I will give it a thumbs up. Okay, and for Aries and Aquarius too, if the manipulation is not so tough, okay? Thumbs up for y'all too. So guys, that was it. I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. Drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys are thinking and how you felt about this video. I love you all, but I gotta go. I'll see you next Saturday for Saturday Sensations. Bye.